I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, lens distortion and this is uh, what is generally referred to as barrel distortion and wide angle zooms essentially all have uh, various degrees of barrel distortion and this particular shot I just shot with uh, for an example to show you that I shot with my Canon 1635 millimeter zoom uh, set at 16 millimeters to sh and the thing I wanted to demonstrate is this is even though this is the older lens it's not the newer uh, version of this lens it's a pretty expensive lens it's somewhat less than two thousand dollars but it still has barrel distortion so uh, when you have even less expensive lenses you're going to get at least as much barrel distortion and perhaps more. The only um, lenses that I'm aware of that I've actually seen that don't have barrel distortion are the wide angle rectilinear primes like the one I've seen is the um, Canon 14 millimeter but it is on a, on a full frame camera it's um, it's not very practical because you're stuck at uh, 14 millimeters which isn't really suitable for all shots so anyway I want to show you um, first of all the, if you look at this image I I think you will pick up very quickly on the fact that these these columns are curved and and also this this straight line at the top here is curved and what happens with barrel distortion is it happens at the edges of the lens so that for example you, the straight lines in here in this window um, you don't see any barrel distortion because it, it it essentially always happens at the at the edges and sometimes these are really subtle and the eye just picks up on them right away so you need to be vigilant in removing this now the other thing to be aware of is that if I open this very same image in CS5 uh, or Lightroom it has a feature called lens profiles which sees this image and says sees the um, XIF data or EXIF data and says oh this is a 16 millimeter uh, zoom and it's set at 16 and it's got um, so much uh, barrel distortion and it just bam immediately fixes it um, and Lightroom as a version 3 does that too if you have the uh, lens profile thing checked but um, we're using this is Photoshop Elements 9 and I'm using it because it's more widely available less expensive and I wanted to show you that it's really not very hard to, to fix this um, and and what you do actually you, we'll take a take a look here and you can see more closely what the barrel distortion is like if I put a reference line on each side of this column so you can see there's a there's a fair amount of barrel distortion so in Photoshop elements you just use this um, correct camera distortion filter click on that guy it brings up this screen that's got grids on it and this top little slider is where you correct the distortion now because I've done this before I know that this lens has a distortion factor of 16 millimeter of about five so I can just open this thing and set it at five and it's going to take care of it so if you look at if you look at this this is pretty close it, uh, there is there is also some um, a little horizontal uh, we can fix the horizontal uh, straighten out a little bit there's a slight bit of uh, vertical to be fixed but I think if you fix both of those like that 
Now you'll notice because we fixed the barrel distortion, you get some um, some curves here at the top, and it has a feature to extend those. So you just run this. It's kind of a fast way of cropping that. So you just run that out and you're done. And as you can see, this is pretty close and or you could play around and get it. I think it's actually pretty close. This, the reference point is is pretty right on. So that's the way you do it. And every other um, image that I open at where I've shot at 16 millimeters it's going to be a plus five correction. So uh, once you know that, it's going to be pretty, pretty fast.